Hi there once again everybody, this is Dale from Geeknoids and in this video we are going to be taking a deeper look at the Apple 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Around the machine itself we have got the brand new MagSafe 2 connector, dual Thunderbolt ports, USB 3, 3.5mm headphone jack and dual mics. Here we have an SD card slot, HDMI port and a USB 3. Inside the machine we have got the huge glass multi-touch trackpad, the backlit keyboard and of course the beautiful Retina display. Looking further into the uh, display itself, we can turn this display all the way up and as you can tell that is very, very bright. And of course we can turn it all the way down. Now this being my first Mac ever, this feature what you're waiting to see is my favourite. Don't you just love that? When you take the light off in the room, the backlit keyboard activates and the screen starts to dim. I just think that's totally awesome. And of course when you add a little bit of light back into the room, I'm going to use my iPhone as a torch here. The backlit keyboard deactivates and the screen brightens up again. Now for a very, very quick start up and shut down test, we're going to firstly see how fast this thing shuts down. There you are, just under two seconds. Now we're going to see how fast this thing boots up. And there you have it, around 15 seconds. Next up we're going to have a look at the performance and the multitasking of this particular machine. Here we have Google Chrome opened up and the website we're viewing is of course the Geekanoids website, the new section that is. Uh, next up we're having a look at the Mac App Store. Next here is well my non-existent iTunes library. Next up is um, iMovie and that little window at the top right with the videos playing, that's actually 1080p so we can have Full 1080p uh, video playing and we still have plenty of room. Also you can tell that I'm scrubbing through that video there with absolutely no lag whatsoever. Next up I'm going to taint this particular computer by running Windows 7. Sorry y'all. Anyway I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here and open up over 9000 Windows Explorer tabs. This thing has no lag whatsoever and here's a little thing for y'all. That app virtual machine actually runs faster and it performs better than my actual computer that runs Windows 7. I'm going to open up the Apple website here just to show you guys that this uh, MacBook Pro is actually a powerhouse. This thing is a beast. Hands down, this thing is a beast. Web browsing, doing iMovie, uh, listening to music, that 1080p video is still open and so is my virtual machine. Next up we're going to have a quick look at how Apple actually implements the uh, Retina display. We have a few options for the user. Uh, the first option is the best for Retina and in my opinion that gives too small of a screen resolution. Um, we can bump it up to a scaled, um, obviously the smaller the resolution the um, uh, less screen real estate we get on the screen and in my opinion that's just the resolution is too small but it does give ultra ultra crisp uh, text and image quality. As we move up the scale the um, screen real estate gets larger and in my opinion I prefer this one. I, I just totally love that screen resolution on a 13 inch notebook computer. Next up we're going to do a quick SSD test. Uh, we're getting a write speed of just around 300 megabytes per second and a read speed of, well, ne nearly off the scale there, 436 megabytes per second. Just to conclude this video, I just want to show you guys uh, the start of the show, which is of course the 13 inch Retina uh, display. This thing is absolutely stunning and if you are considering a uh, new computer or maybe even a new Mac and maybe you're a little bit unsure if you want to choose the standard uh, 13 inch MacBook without the Retina display or maybe you want to go up to the uh, 13 inch one which I have here. Go into a local Apple store if you can and have a look at the Retina display and boy this thing is stunning. You know the saying uh, once you go once you go Mac you can't go back well I would say the same thing about the Retina. Once you go Retina there's no going back Honestly, this thing is absolutely stunning. Uh, without a doubt, this is one of the best notebook computers I've used in my life. I've owned a number of notebook computers, however, this is the first Mac I have used, uh, well, the first Mac I've owned, and I'm absolutely loving it. There's uh, no doubt about it. It's nice and portable. Apple did indeed get rid of the super drive. However, having this computer for around a week now, I'm not missing uh, a, a super drive. I've only needed to use a DVD once and that was uh, to burn an ISO image for a friend. Once again, I thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.